What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Blackie Lebowski. We have Iron Wolf. We got Ghost Rider. We got Kaleidoscope. Now, you're probably wondering, what are we all doing here today? And we're here to roast a duck, an asshole, a real <laughs> problem in the gaming community. Now, you talk about games, right? It's about games. Why does this involve so many other people? Why, do, why are these weirdos so concerned with other people's achievements? And that's what we're here to talk about today. Black Bond, your bitch ass is up. You've been up in that attic too long. you breathe in some fucking dust mites and asbestos. <laughs> you need some fucking help. You need to fucking, you need to get out of the attic. Oh, attic. The Red Dragon straight up roasts you today. Why did he roast you, Black Bond? Because you're concerned with other men way too much. Now, where I grew up, how my father raised me, how his father raised him, this is not how shit works. And you know what? You paid attention to a motherfucker. You assumed some shit with the Red Dragon. And his 100,000 subscriber count on YouTube gets to see your stupid ass be your stupid ass. And now you have this podcast roasting your stupid ass. And that's how I'm going to introduce it. Yep. Well, yeah, all I can say is uh, I made a video, let's just say a few days ago, and he came on my video just leaving me comments like he usually does. He, I know he's a fan secretly. I get that. But if he wanted an autograph, all he had to do is just ask. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all he had to do, man. But this guy, you know what I mean, goes out of his way, you know, shares my videos on the Steam forums, getting all these other PC elites to dislike my videos. This guy is sad, yo. I'm just saying this guy is sad. He doesn't have a life. He's worried about other grown men. He worries about Zaya's PC, you know, crap gamers gameplay videos. You know what I mean? Like, what's up with this fool, man? I, I don't know. Wolf, and I've seen, you know, he doesn't even look at, you know, behind his own closet. You know what I mean? I've seen this guy's gamer score. He's only got, like, what, 10,000? You know what I mean? And he's <laughs> calling me a fraud. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I got, right. I got 9,000, but, hey, man, I lost, I lost a gamer account or whatever for Xbox, and you see me playing games. I don't have to sit here and say my score counts for shit. My gameplay does. The fact that I don't concentrate on other men 24 hours a day, seven days a week, says I'm a gamer. And he just, this says nothing about him, man. Ghost, what you got to say? Hey, man, all I know is this, man. I did a video in GameStop, you know, towards the end of the day, you know, I, you see how I bought the, the headsets, you know, the Metal Gear Solid. So, yeah, I had a little little debate a, a pony jumped in you know at the end of the day this this lame old he in my comment section talking massive shit with other pc dudes like i don't understand that man for one what i don't understand about big bird or leave it to beaver whatever you want to call him is you know at the end of the day if you ain't got an xbox one or ps4 what the fuck you worried about anything that we do like you you ain't even got a next gen console your opinion don't fucking count like, I don't know why they got him on matter. the show. That's what I'm saying. You don't, don't matter. matter. Relevant. And that's the thing, man. I want to say this because I know this little fucking, this little ass hurt fucking posing with 16-year-old girls for his fucking YouTube account <laughs> trying to look cool. Motherfucker's <laughs> going to say, well, look at these guys making a podcast on me. Bitch, check the stats. Look how many fucking podcasts we got dedicated to other men. The shit's reached a point where it's fuck you, dude. Whenever I'm watching one of the most humble YouTubers, come out and say, what the fuck is this dude worried about my achievements for? That being the Red Dragon. That's whenever people need to say something. You don't, like Ghost said, you don't have a fucking Xbox One. You don't have a fucking PlayStation 4. You have some stupid fucking bargain bin PC that runs on goddamn <laughs> Windows, need I mind you. And you act just like the fucking pony in Ghost's video. You fucking jump in the comment section. Nobody's talking to you. Nobody's addressing you. You got something to say. This shit is fucking weird, man. And it's, it's not about you know what I'm saying? Doing videos on other men. That's just, our channels are not are not indicative of that. You know what I mean? We 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 do other things, man. It's just at a point now. Where I'm like I'm like fuck this loser. He's sitting here saying I I threaten your family with guns on the internet, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you even say that <laughs> shit about your family if you love them, man? I would never say that about my family. But then you're going to try to convince all your fucking ignorant-ass followers that the best way to handle that type of situation is to do YouTube drama videos? Nigga, get out of here and get my dick out of your mouth. 
Word, man. That boy be hugging <laughs> mad nuts, man. Yo, Kaleidoscope, what you got to say, man? Goggling nuts. I'm telling yeah, you, man. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Um, well, the whack bond, he is a trip, though. You know what I'm saying? He's always concerned about what other, somebody else is doing. And not what some other person is doing. It's what basically what some other dude is doing. All right? Because all his scenes, he's just hounding men on YouTube. That's all it seems like to me. Yeah. I actually visited his page and whatnot. Every video was about another dude. You know, and then the <laughs> pictures that he's with with girls and whatnot, they look like they're 14. I mean, <laughs> really? I mean, no, is, you, what, is you doing something with underage girls, man? What the fuck is up with and that? You know, like, oh, man, why are all the motherfuckers on my channel talking shit? All of them from Black Bond's channel talking about you pedophile, you raping kids. Look at you on your four-wheeler chasing kids in the woods. Why do they come from your channel, nigga, when you sitting here with fucking girls look like they're 14, 15, taking pictures and shit? That's who watches well, your I'm, channel. I'm pretty sure he's doing something a little, a little bit more out there, you know what I'm saying? Words, man. And I don't understand, guys, you know, me, I posted videos before, you know, me going to work, all rugged, you know, I got to work and, you know, I'm, you know, those are the videos I posted, but this motherfucker got a picture of him in a plaid blue shirt and fucking brown pants. What type of shit is that? What swag is that? <laughs> <laughs> what swag you want, man? You look like a creepo, a weirdo, man. Look like you stalking hey, bitches, man. Money, man. This I'm nigga stalking you fuck that. Man. Yo, he needs to get yo, he needs to get his swag game right, yo. I'm just saying, got no swag. I swear to God on everything I love. He told me you have your own file on my computer. I have enough to put you in jail forever. He said that to me. A grown wow. ass man on the internet said this to me. He said he has enough information in this file he has on my computer to put me in jail. Forever, like nigga, what type of Yo, fucking this guy has a file on you? Are you living in, motherfucker? Like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Yo, black Yo, boss. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on. So yeah. you're telling me, Lebowski, that this guy has a file on you on his computer? And so he he's basically, so he's Whoa, basically, wow. basically it's a, not like I'm making it no. up. You can, there's a text, there's a comment out there where he says you have your own file on. On my computer, I'm like nigga. I didn't keep files on ex girls that, that did shit did me dirty. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why, why do I got my own file, nigga? This nigga is depressed. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, he on all types of meds. He got a fucking unicycle in his room, man. Like, what the fuck? Yo, man. yo, this guy is definitely some sort of homosexual police, man. I think so, man. He's a homosexual police, bro. I'm saying, well, man. He's keeping files on other grown men. He, I know he's got a file on you, me, the drone crusher, Zaire. Now he's gonna be having files on you, Ghost, and you, Kaleidoscope, man. Hey, let him have files on me. He ain't got shit on me. You know, well, I mean, he, he can, he can look at the file picture of my nuts. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. <laughs> Yo, Kaleidoscope, your mic is kind of breaking out a little bit, bro. Yeah, he could actually look at the file that has my nuts. <laughs> ah, shit, yo, black ball, man, LB looking for you. LB beat your meal, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yo, I'm yeah. telling you, man. No, but this, <laughs> this motherfucker, right, he came on Twitter saying to me that I wear makeup. So he's too busy trying to look so close into my face, trying to make it as though I wear makeup. This fool's gay, bro. This nigga trying, trying to stare into your gay. fucking soul, wolf. Trying to stare into your eyes, see how dreamy your eyes is. So we can do another video about you, man. That's the no, weird shit. No, man. Like, come on, yo. Wow. This guy is a weirdo, man. He, he is a weird, weirdo, man. man. Yo, you know what's crazy, guys? You know, he always talking about PC and all of this other shit, man. But you, I know you probably play games like World of Warcraft. Uh, let me see. What else? League I Am Red, Red, League of Legends. You know, all these whack shits. You lucky, man, Microsoft got all these butter shits coming to the PC, man, to keep... Oh, matter of fact, guys, ain't they beta testers? Yeah, you that's what they are, yo. Like, all those games like the Goat Simulator, you know what I'm saying? All them games, they come to Xbox anyway. They come to consoles, yo. But what's fucked up, man? It's, don't get it fucked up, man. PCs are all right, man. PC gamers, they cool, dude. Yeah, the they, 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 yeah some of the PC... They're not PC gamers. Hold on, hold on, let me just say this. The people that are talking... This shit, they're not PC gamers, guys. Just look at the situation. They're comparing last generation games, looking how fucking good they run. 
comparing them to the new consoles, they're not playing StarCraft. They're not playing Dota 2. They're not playing these real good PC games that PC gamers play. They're fucking using the gaming, you know, the gaming YouTube scene as a platform for drama and bullshit. How the fuck? However, I, I, you look at my channel and you see nothing but gameplay and we're talking about games and a whole bunch of other shit and you look at related videos and there is fucking this beaver tooth faggot ass nigga black blonde and he ain't got nothing but a bunch of videos dedicated to Zaire, me, oh, wow. fucking bunch of lies. Like, this shit is crazy, nigga. How the fuck is this nigga still on YouTube, man? Yeah, I'll tell you like this, guys, man. All of us on this right now, we ain't really got beef with certain PC dudes. We only talking about this beaver teeth, gap tooth, fucking gray hair face ass stalker, man. He stalks men. That's all this dude do. He's the YouTube stalker. All he want to do is talk shit. He got everybody's cock in his mouth. But though he says, I, I, I don't play those games. Um, I don't I don't play those games. Uh, they they're not on PC, so I don't I don't play them. Um, they are next gen consoles, but you ain't got none. So why the fuck you on their channel on on on, the, on their podcast? Yo, you know whenever I'm talking, see this like, is the thing. Like, whenever you're having a conversation with another dude that has a console, let's just say a PS4 or Wii U, why the hell does a guy like this motherfucker right have to jump in your conversation when he has nothing to do with him? Or the platform he plays on. It's like, right. it's like they want to feel like they're down and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like this motherfucker's so lonely. You know what I mean? These PC weirdos like him, they got no games to play, bro. And that's a fact. They have no, what, they, what do they play? What do they play? Counter-Strike? You know, they play <laughs> old-ass games, emulators like and this, shit. It's, they don't play no games. Well, they don't play no games at all, man. It's like, look at it from a very... A, they a, pirate a, them, bro. That's what they do. They pirate them games. Well, think about this, Stats man. Stats don't lie, yo. Stats don't lie. They yo, think about this, though, man. Right. These motherfuckers, the people that we're addressing, it's not even about games. I really don't think it is, man. You got to look at how just, I mean, immature these motherfuckers are. They're starting arguments when, you know, it's A, B's conversation, C, your way, way out. You know what I mean? They fucking are in the wrong conversation. And then they're not playing the really good PC games. They're, they're dedicating so much of their time to other men. And like I said, it's, it's a platform for the drama and the bullshit, man. It has nothing to do with video games or anything like that. Now, we're all close to 30, maybe a little bit older and it's, it's like the whole fucking posting with these little white girls, man, on social media. Like, nigga, you are immature as fuck. Like, how the fuck are you going to be talking about games or anything? Nigga, I can't do that. My girl would fucking kick my ass if I had her picture anywhere all these anywhere near all these weirdos on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I respect my woman. I know all you guys do that shit. But this is the oh, same yeah. type of motherfucker who's going to try to put you down over video games and claim that his PC is better is the same type of nigga who's going to be in his 30s taking pictures with little 15-year-old white girls and putting them on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Most yeah. Definitely. Most definitely. And I, I want to touch up, man. Like, this dude, man, is out there that, you know, 70% of them motherfucking PCs are not even powerful. You know, there's only 30% out there that really got strong rigs. You understand me? Like, a lot of these dudes, man, and correct me if I'm right or wrong, guys. That's all I'm saying. Like, you right, you right. I'm I'm just saying, man. And another thing, man, about about this dude, man. It's like, damn, I, I forgot to train the thought. No, man. no, no, no. The thing is, like, only, only, like I said, this is the truth. Seventy-five percent of these PC people play in 720p, and that's a fact. Hardly any any of them play on 4K, and none of them can afford Titans, bro. Uh, that's Dude. that's sad, man. I and they got exactly the nerve to talk shit. There's a certain percentage. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they're a very small minority that do have Titans, but the majority don't have Titans, bro. That's true, man. And and, and the truth hurts, man. You know, I don't know, man. I, I heard that he had a whack PC, and I heard he stepped it up. You know, so who knows, man? He might have a decent PC. Yeah, he probably stole that shit. This nigga had a PC. You don't matter, man. You got a fucking computer, Black Bond. Congratulations. I got a computer right here. I got a exactly. four wheeler. I got a dirt bike. I got a fucking all types of nice shit, dude. You think I'm fucking worried about my goddamn little iMac sitting in my fucking room? Nigga, that's how fucking much substance your life lacks. That PC. 
It's something that you fucking hold dear to your heart. It's what gives you status. Not your career, not how much money you make, not the fucking girls you've been with or the ones that like you. None of that shit, nigga. That's why you worried about other men, dude. You're a little bitch. You a bitch ass nigga, man. That dude's the biggest he gay, bro. He gay. motherfucker I've ever seen in my life, dude. I don't like this nigga. I really don't like this line. I know. <laughs> you sound like you were really gonna beat the fuck out of him, yo. <laughs> I want to touch up on real quick, though. You know, these guys, these PC gamers and whatnot, especially Black Bond, not really the PC games, but Black Bond really, um, he'd be tripping because when it comes to video games, each console has its own things. You know what I'm saying? So you really can't compare console gaming to PC gaming. You know, the people that do, y'all need to just stop that bullshit, really. Because console has the best fighting games. They have the best fucking first-person shooters. They got the best fucking action-adventure games. Not to compare to PC, though, because PC has different types of games, all right? So that's why I'm attracted to a console, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of those type of genres, all right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand you like your MOBAs, you know what I'm saying? And you like your open-world RPGs and whatnot, multi massively multiplayer online RPGs. Fine, that's good and dandy, but that's not my cup of tea, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got freaking free on the Xbox One. I got, what is it, that game called Smite? That's another MOBA. I played it maybe two hours. That's it. I was done. I'm yeah, good. We got Neverwinter <laughs> 2. We got Warframe. You know what I'm saying? All those, all those games on the PC, they come to Xbox anyway. They make their way to consoles anyway. So they're basically beta testing it for us right now. They're beta testing, you know, the Ark Evolve game. They're beta testing that game right now. Because that shit's coming to the Xbox One early next year. Yeah, man. And, and guys, man, you know what I'm tired of hearing? Social rejects. Or oh, he's in a store arguing. Where in that video I was arguing, uh, the pony came in and started arguing, and I shut him down. Like, I don't understand where the social reject. If I'm in a gaming store, this is how you see this dude is a, a ass. He don't get it. He's retarded. Like, his head is made out of a rock. You know what I mean? Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm in a store towards the end of the day, and I'm debating the dude. You know, it's all fun and games. It's, it's all cool. It's all good. You see us laughing, joking. What, you got offended because I told you and the PS4 dude and me actually shook hands with the manager of GameStop, and he even kind of agreed, but then he backed out a little bit, and somebody else on the sideline that said PC Master Race, you know, not to all PCs, but the one I was talking to, can suck my dick, and they said it at the same time, and the PS4 <laughs> guy said it. So that's United. That's both consoles. You understand? Because we console gamers. PS4 gamers are console gamers. Xbox One gamers are console gamers. Where the fuck your PC ass coming out of nowhere. No, but let me, ask you, Shit let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Lebowski, Kaleidoscope, Ghost. Name me a game on a PC where you see a midnight launch in Times Square. Oh, no. I, I, I can't. That's crazy. Is there a midnight launch for a PC game? That's huge. They might have, they might have this right here. This do they have like an extravaganza or anything like that? No, they don't. Right? Something they might do like that, but it's, it's not... It's, it, it's not on an epic scale, you know. I mean, wow. that's what I'm saying. They can get their games digitally, man. Uh, it's. I think we're kind of veering off the subject a little bit, man. Because but, no, but the thing is, like, people like him, they beg. Bro, this people is not like him, they beg for Xbox exclusives. That's oh, yeah, man. But it's, it's, it's not. It's, that's fine, though, man. It's Windows 10 and Xbox. That, all that comes together, you know what I mean? The fact is, the, the whole point of this is that we have. I don't want any part of fucking weirdos, so man. Fuck in this community, that he makes PC gamers to us seem like this. That is black exactly. on. That's what this video is about, man. Like PC gaming is what it is, man. And there's some really cool dudes. Yeah, they are. PC. But this motherfucker is such a goddamn dickhead. He rubs his shit in so much, trying to say, "Oh, my PC better. It makes me better." That fucking that we will automatically assume that some of these, that all these guys are like this, and that's not the case. That's how bad this motherfucker is, dude, and these assholes who have these PCs, they try to put you down, they try to take things you say out of context, or, you know, try to do this and that, and that's fine, man, because at the end of the day, this is a of gamers, and how dare another gamer or any motherfucker who's doing a, a nerd hobby say he's better than somebody else because of their nerd hobby. It just doesn't make no fucking sense. And that's disgusting no. shit. This shit is not about gaming, guys. It's about 
motherfuckers attacking people in the community for no reason. I'm going to bring it back to the Red Dragon. This dude is one of the most humble people on YouTube, man. He, he's, he's chill. He keeps himself. He's informative. How he does his videos, he's he's very impartial. I like and this dickhead, this PC gamer, thinks he has the goddamn authority to go look at his achievements and and, and oh, look, he didn't get this achievement. And exposed, bitch. He showed you that the fucking PlayStation Network sucks so much ass, it didn't give him the achievement when it should have. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. that's that's what we're here for, man. I've seen that shit early. This asshole, it. dude. I'm serious, man. You got <laughs> motherfuckers on my channel and everywhere I see who are coming from this man's channel, and it's not about gaming. It's not about, oh, well, the Xbox... They've only sold two million, so exposed. It's like, well, you rape kids. Like, what, nigga? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Controller, we're talking about Halo Gears, all the games you got petitions for, you fucking bitch. And and the only thing you want to come back to me to hurt me is to say some disgusting, nasty, sick, perverted, fucked up shit like that. That's what Black Bond is doing in this gaming community. Yeah. It's more than cancerous. It's called divide and conquer. That's what he's doing. Pedophile, though. We don't really know. I mean, if the person said it, laid it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that, no, no, I was say, no, this is the first, last, and the only time we're going to be talking about this. I just, yeah, oh, yeah. you know, we can all lay it out. You know, what I mean, say say how we feel. Uh, but I don't want nothing to do with him. I don't want to be his friend. You know, he could try to reach out to me as much as he can. I don't want anything to do with him and his weird crew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And his weird crew is reaching out to me on Twitter, and it's like, hey, Broken Games, sorry, but I'm not going to hang out with you, dude. You know what I'm saying? You, you're you friends with this weirdo. Like, whenever somebody's so weird, they're willing to go out of their way and make up fucking, I mean, blatant, like, hurtful lies that are really dangerous. I mean, if this was true, this would be really dangerous. Somebody yeah, I mean, you really don't want to, you know, want to lie. You want to lie about it and do YouTube to get your agenda up, nigga? Get your agenda up this week. Is that is that what's going on in the streets now, Vaughn? You fucking faggot. And you sound like I want to kick your ass, nigga. You goddamn right. You ever see my face, you better fucking make sure you look real close at it. Because you don't ever want to run into me, nigga. I swear to God, nigga, you don't have a problem. You have a real problem. <laughs> it's not a threat. Not a threat. No, it's not a threat, man. Yo, it's putting it in, yo. <laughs> yo, I got something as far as the game score. All right, that gamer score thing. I only got a sixty-six thousand gamer score, but I can guarantee you, I probably own a lot more games than this fool does. Because I've been gaming since the Atari twenty-six hundred. I don't necessarily chase, chase achievements. You know what I'm saying I've told Wolf this before and Ghost. I yeah. don't, I'm not an achievement hunter. And you could even check the only game that I've actually one hundred percent was actually Destiny, and I got twenty-three hundred hours up in that bitch. All right. Hey man. I get on my ass off, but I don't actually hunt achievements. So it's All a big right, difference. I, I just wanted to say this, man. Like I, I was ranked fifteenth in the world in Call of Duty. I I like the I like co op, but I like the multiplayer. When you buy Call of Duty, it's not to play really to beat the game really. It's to get on multiplayer and try to get all the fucking ranks. You understand? You want to get to the top. That's how it is. And you want to play when you really a Call of Duty guy. Like look. I went to the last prestige and then restarted all over again. Now, for me, I had 30 days, 23 hours, you understand? With only 560, 16 games because I restarted it, you understand? So I started up again and stopped playing. Now, also, let me see what else I have on here. Now, I, I told you I was ranked 15th in Hardcore Team Deathmatch. Now, um, I'm going to go back. I haven't played this game in like a year, a year or almost two years because we got Advanced Warfare now. I didn't like Advanced Warfare, so right now, let me see. I'm going back into this. I am ranked 181 yeah. in the world in Hardcore Team Deathmatch, and I haven't played in, like, nobody's hardly playing Call of Duty Ghost too much like that, but I'm still ranked 181, and look how much hours I put into it. And I stopped playing that shit because I got on my PC. I started playing Skyrim with all the fucking mods, and Skyrim actually took me on the 360 when I bought it, and I used to be hardcore on Black Ops. I used to play that shit on my 360. I played fucking uh, 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 Skyrim on that and got hooked. It took me off of playing Call of Duty for hours, man. I got hours on that shit too. And my gamer tag, I don't have that much uh, on what you call it, but I got massive games and I got a busy life. And I play, I like playing the game. When I get tired of a game, I stop playing it. 
you know me, um, Blackie Lebowski, Kaleidoscope, all y'all. I jump from game to game, like in between. I'm cutting y'all, man. You see my like no, I probably, I probably I was just going to say, the motherfucker got a problem when he run into me, man. I'm going to give him a wedgie and a wet willy, man, and probably bitch him. <laughs> I ain't going to kill nobody. Like, yo, we, yo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this dude is crazy. He, he wants all the attention. Like, how are we corporate slaves, man, Microsoft slaves? Well, are you a Steam slave? Because that's what it seemed like. you saying we Xbox slaves and all that. You're a Steam PC slave. Or if not, what, you're a Windows slave? Cause yeah, no like, like he, he always be preaching that PC stuff. And that's all well and good. You know, if you want to preach that shit on your channel, you know, good on you. But, like, stop coming like, everywhere else and, like, you know what I mean, trying to shove that shit down my throat, yo. I don't care what you play. I don't care what you like. You know that's what I mean? What I like what I like. You I'm know what saying, I'm saying? I put 30 fucking hours in that game. It would have been more, but I got taken out. But I don't see his ass having 30 some hours on fucking... Bro, let me tell you something. I don't see to... that. When you come to my channel, you see gameplay, bro. You see raw multiplayer gameplay, where it's on Halo, where it's on Gears, where it's on Call of Duty. You see gameplay, bro. You see competitive gameplay. Like, on his channel, I don't see that shit, yo. I hardly ever see that. I see I see, I see, see videos about, you know, Drone Crusher, you know what I mean? Zaire, Lebowski. Yeah, this, this dude is obsessed over Lebowski, though, man. It's like, it's not even a joke. That's why I be getting heated, dude. I'm like, look, dude, I grew up where you got to be respectful, man. And I'm, I'm very respectful of everyone. But when you maliciously make up lies and you fucking stalk people and you're a bully, and that's essentially what this is all about. You want to fucking say, you want to quote anything Lebowski said in this podcast is, I will fucking kick a bully's goddamn ass. And I'm very <laughs> nice to everybody else. And that's it, dude. You want to fucking be a bully and fucking act like you got some authority? Yeah, well, yeah, the fucking that shit's not how life works, man. He, nah, he, man. He's probably gonna do now. Nah, I know, I know his next move. I know he's gonna do. I, I tell you like this. Man, guys. Listen to this. Listen to this. I know what he's gonna do next. I know his next move. He's gonna go ahead. He's gonna get all his subscribers to dislike my video yet again. Probably four hundred of them. And you know, it is where it is, and he will come up with maybe ten or twenty. He probably make a whole whole entire series based on this little podcast that we did today. Yeah, yeah let, see, let him, let him. And I'm going to tell you like this, man. Yeah, you see me in my videos. I do what I do. But I tell you like this, man. My resume as being young is I boxed most of my life since the age of like, what, 12? I fought the Junior Olympics three times. I won that at 119 pounds. I won it in New York City, 125 pounds. I went to Lake Placid, also took the gold medal up there. I fought the Golden Gloves in 2001. Lost by one point in a hundred in Madison Square Garden, 132 pounds when I was really 125 pounds. So, don't even try it, cause you might you might laugh, cause I'm short, but I'll probably knock you the fuck out, straight stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bring my boys from my block and I put them on my channel like we doing right now, and they'll tell you I knock big motherfuckers out. Like I I, that, I grew up in the hood, like that's the shit that kills me, like. All that shit that, that, that this dude is doing, talking mad shit, that's why I respect Zaire when he caught your ass out and that other lame-ass nigga, he caught them out, the knuckle game. Like, what's up? You right here, you want to talk about basketball games. You ducking people. I seen Zaire Skyping you. Yeah. Like, I don't know why people subscribe to you, bro. And you I tell you like this, man, I, I'm straight nice with my hands, bro. I'm straight nice with mine. But it's not the, it's neither here or there with fighting. But my resume, uh, uh, Matt, in New York City, I, I've been with Paulie Mananaji in tournaments. I've been with Curtis Showtime Stevenson. He has the best record of knocking motherfuckers out in New York besides Mark Breland. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, dog, I've been with a lot of great – I met Zach Judah and them. I met – Fucking holy! I met so many boxers at, at my young life and fighting in mad tournaments that that this shit kills me. You you gotta watch like Black, Blackie Lebowski says. You don't know who the fuck you talking to on YouTube, bro. Like seriously, man. True that, is, yeah. All I'm gonna up, say man. is that look, we're gonna wrap this show up, man. Like we're gonna we're gonna wrap this me, sometimes, man. Yo, we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna wrap this hangout, man. We're gonna wrap it up, man. We've, we've gone way too long. Uh, and I don't want to put my government name out there, but I, I, I'll tell your guys, and y'all can look it up yourself, and y'all see my fucking picture or, or what my fight was and, and what was my record and, I, and, and, and the Golden Gloves. And I fought in Madison Square Garden, me and my brother. My brother fought 125. Like, let's, let's go. Like, like, in all reality, I'm, I'm in history in Madison Square Garden, dog, something that you could never be. 
You know, at the end of the day, even though I lost by one point, I still make history. To the day I die, and boxing history and Golden Glove, I'm still up there. Well, that's, that's a prestige honor, history. bro. That is a prestige honor. That is an honor. There's a lot of people that fight the rest of their life, and the Golden Gloves are never going to <laughs> I'm on history, dog. Even though I lost, but I fought in Madison Square Garden with the best in the world for that. Something you can't do. Lame ass. Yo, 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 yo. I'm just yo, giving yo. a piece of let's, my history of my life. Yo, yo, right, let's, let's 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 wrap this shit up, man. Like we we've gone on way too long, man. But yeah, yeah like we said we had we said what we had to say. You know, is there any last word? You know, because all I'm saying is look, I don't hate the guy, you know, I don't really care for him like that, but look. Just stay in your lane, bro. Hell yeah, man. Yo, oh, I hate that. Forget, oh, about, forget yeah. about Xbox dudes. Don't worry about PlayStation dude. Just stay in your PC lane, bro. I don't use the word hate a lot, dude, but I hate this cocksucker. And I just want to say this. This has nothing to do with us fucking being crazy or anything, but this is something not- that had to be addressed, man. So many people get attacked. For being an Xbox gamer, that's what this exactly. is about, man. We are fucking sick of it, and it comes from the same people who are attack everybody else, man. And it seems like they have an alliance with these fucking Sony fanboys. I do not get it, but that's what this video is about, man. It's about not being the bully. Don't do that shit. It's not cool, man. Don't don't piss people off. Have some respect. If you're gonna talk, if you're gonna say it's about games, keep it about that shit, dude. Because after this video, I'm going to go back. Me and Wolf, we're going to go back. We're going to play some Gears. Ghost and Kaleidoscope, we're all going to go back on Xbox Live. And we're going to be gamers. Our channels are going to fucking have all the gaming content that it's always been. But this shit, like I said, when you got people like the Red Dragon, like where this motherfucker, feel he has the audacity or the authority to come at people like this, fuck you, motherfucker. And that's all I got to say, man. Shout outs to Red Dragon, man. Shit. Shout out, man. But anyway, man, Kaleidoscope, man. Well, I just got to say a few things. Um, this is a cat that's basically down with OPP, other people's PCs. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you should be down with other people's pussy, you know what I'm saying? But other people's PCs, come on, man, get off that shit. Either way, man. that's my two cents, yo. Uh, yo right, man. I, yeah, I was going to say something, but no. Nah. <laughs> no, yo, fuck it, man. You'll be going on for another 10 minutes, man. Yo, let's wrap this up. <laughs> Yo, bang, bang. Keep it Xbox. Hell yeah.